you know, closer to the ethos of, of this uh, decentralized permissionless uh, ecosystem while also kind of having these connections to the real world. Giddy, I like the name. It makes me want to kind of laugh. Like, yeah. where did that come from? Giddy up, right? Oh, <laughs> is that what it is about? <laughs> uh, more or less, yeah. So it started as just kind of, we wanted everyone to have such a good experience doing crypto that they felt giddy about it. This is so easy. This is so happy. And um, I grew up uh, in the in the you know West, so uh, Arizona and Utah for the most part. Um, and my brother and I actually co-founded the company together. So it really is a big part of us uh, being out in like the open frontier with this notion of there. There's this wild West that you can kind of capture and tame. So uh, we we kind of are leaning into that style and that motif. So if you look, look at the website and the app, a lot of it is kind of the Western United States you know vibe. Uh, driving back and forth between like Arizona and Nevada and, and, and uh, Utah, you'll see a lot of the themes that we kind of le- leaned into. But yeah, we're all about giddying up at Giddy. That's perfect. You're probably loving the cowboy culture here in Texas oh, and it. Austin specifically. It's, it's, it's so good, which is which is uh, exactly why I was drawn over to, to, to you guys and, and, and about this topic was uh, I've seen some uh, articles coming out in conversation uh, in Texas around the blockchain and and you know what it means to own your own uh, identity and and crypto and have have the status on the on the blockchain. I think uh, what what we've been working on and what you you've been working on is uh, there's a lot of overlap. I think we see it very very similarly. So um, yeah, a lot of people who want to own their identity and own their their finances and we want to enable that. Absolutely. And, you know, when you came up, you were talking about Utah making moves here. We usually hear states like, obviously, Texas, Wyoming, Florida. Right. Um, Utah's not been on our map. Tell us, what do you all have on the agenda for the legislative session? Yeah. So, you know, Utah has uh, a long history of being a very uh, business and founder friendly state for for uh, for technology, for financial uh, products. And uh, so so recently uh, the, the Utah Blockchain Coalition has been working with the state on uh, different bits of legislation that will that will promote, uh, you know, founder friendly and crypto friendly, blockchain friendly, um, smart and effective uh, legislation. So one of the things that actually just just passed is uh, the the Utah uh, DAO um, Act, I, <laughs> whatever we're calling it. I should, I should probably know better, but uh, Utah has made has provided a way for companies to create a DAO, but redact personal information from that DAO formation. So you can have a DAO that, that lives on the blockchain with a legal entity in Utah so that you can do things like, you know, employment tax or you, uh, you just, just have a good standing with the state, but you can remove personal information from that, uh, that, that legal entity so that you can have a truly decentralized DAO, right? A digital uh, uh, anonymous slash autonomous orga- organization um, so it really is meant to get at the core found, found foundational principles of running a DAO on the blockchain. Um, it needs to be uh, it needs to be decentralized. It needs to be able to run in uh, in in you know closer to the ethos of of this uh, decentralized permissionless uh, ecosystem, while also kind of having these connections to the real world. So so in the state of Utah, you can create a DAO where you can redact your personal information and and run the DAO how it's meant to be run. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We had a great time here at Consensus. At the Texas Blockchain Council, we are striving to be the nexus between traditional industries, banking, finance, legal, energy, and the digital asset industry. So we wanna help you get your brand in front of those kinds of companies with B2B opportunities. Reach out to us if that's of interest for membership or for sponsorship at the summit. Hope to see you there in November in Fort Worth. Thanks again. We look forward to seeing you at the summit.